Hi students, I'm Jeff, and today's grammar topic is phrasal verbs with pass. We have pass away, pass for, pass off, pass out, pass over, pass up, pass in, pass by, and pass through. Let's look at the following examples. <clears throat> Number one, Marvin's mother passed away suddenly. She had a heart attack. Pass away is a nicer way of saying to die. 2. Marvin is 33 years old, but he can easily pass for 25 or younger. So pass for means to be accepted as or believed to be. 3. Marvin bought a fake Rolex that the owner passed off as a real one. Marvin was really pissed off. To pass off means to offer or sell an imitation as genuine. 4. Marvin often tries to pass himself off as a successful businessman at bars in order to pick up women. So here, <clears throat> to pass off means to present oneself as something other than what one is. 5. Marvin passed out a copy of his presentation to everyone at the meeting. <clears throat> so here, to pass out means to give something such as papers, pencils, or food to everyone. 6. Marvin was so nervous during his PowerPoint presentation that he almost passed out. He had to take a drink of water, breathe more slowly, and calm down. So here, to pass out means to lose consciousness. 7. Marvin got depressed when he got passed over for a promotion again. So, to pass over means to leave out, disregard, or ignore. 8. Marvin won't pass up the next good offer he gets. He won't say no because he is sick of his boss. So, to pass up means to let something go by, to reject. 9. Marvin passed in his research paper to his professor for his business class. So, to pass in means to give or submit something, such as an assignment or a test, to someone such as a teacher. 10. Marvin passes by a church, a cemetery, several banks, and tons of stores on his way to and from work. So to pass by means to move or travel past someone, something, or some place. 11. Marvin passes through New York and several other cities on his way to Florida each year. So, to pass through means to travel through something such as a tunnel or some place. Alright, now pause the video, review the material, do the exercise, and then come back for the answers. Alright, let's see how you did. Number one. Hey Roderick, guess what? I have some great news. You know how those European agencies that I apply to always pass over my resume? Well, I'm finally going to Europe. 2. That's great, Patty. I'm really happy for you. But I'm afraid I have some terrible news. 
Your cousin Sylvia passed away this morning. Three. What? Oh my god. How did that happen? I just passed by her office on my way home and was thinking about her. Four. I guess she was driving to her university to pass in an assignment when she got hit by a truck. Five. I can't believe it. I don't feel so well, Roderick. I think I'm going to pass out. Six. It's okay. You're in shock. Here, sit on the couch. I'll get you some water. Oh, by the way, her mother wants us to help write up a biography about Sylvia, which will be passed out to guests at the funeral. Seven. Oh, I'd love to help with that. She and I used to have so much fun in college. She looked older than she was and could easily pass for 21, which helped get us into clubs all the time. Eight. <clears throat> she was pretty gutsy. I remember once she had to do a research paper on something and she somehow managed to pass herself off as a real reporter and get an interview with some executive. Nine. Yeah, that was Sylvia, all right. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the funeral, though. I cannot pass up this modeling opportunity. And I have to leave in a few days. Ten. Well, you'll have to pass through the city where the funeral is on your way to the airport anyway. By the way, how long will you be in Europe? Eleven. A year. Let me know how you did during our lesson. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.